Welcome to our lecture online. One amazing effect of the theory, the general theory of relativity, is that space doesn't appear to be what we thought it was. For example, let's say that we have the sun right here in the middle, and let's say there's three stars. Let's call them star one, star two, and star three. And of course, any three stars, when you connect them with straight lines, they form a triangle. Any three stars in space will form a triangle. And of course, we all know that when you add up the angles between those straight lines, those angles always add up to 180 degrees. Except, they really don't when there's something in the middle. If you take the sun away and there was nothing in between the three stars, that would indeed be the case. Space would be flat, not curved. But by placing the sun right here, Realizing now that the light must travel past the sun, we know there's a gravitational field around the sun, essentially there's a curvature of space around the sun, the light will bend around the sun and change direction. So for the light to reach, let's say, from star 3 to star 1, it cannot travel in a direct line from here to there because, because of the curvature, the light will miss the star. In order for that light to reach this star, we have to look at the light that actually travels in this direction, and then the curvature space will cause the light to bend, and then reach the star this way. The same for the travel from star 1 to star 2. Again, if the light were to travel in this direction, it's not going to reach the star, it's simply going to bend and miss the star. So for the light beam to reach this star, it has to be directed in this direction. And because the curvature of space will eventually reach the star like that. Same from star 2 to star 3. Again, for the light to reach the star there, it has to be directed slightly away from this line and so that the curvature space will cause it to reach star 3. Now, if we find the angles between those two departure points and arrival points of the light, and again over here and again over there, we call them alpha, beta, and gamma, if we add those three angles together, guess what? they do not add up to 180 degrees. They're actually larger than 180 degrees. So the curvature space is such that you form a triangle, but the angles of that triangle will not add up to 180 degrees. Space is curved because of the presence of mass within space. And so it doesn't matter which direction you look at. Here, of course, we kind of depict it as a two-dimensional environment, but think about it that if you could somehow twirl those stars around Everywhere around the sun you would have that same effect and you would have that curvature of space around the sun so that light would simply tra travel on those curved paths. And everywhere you look where there's mass, space is curved. The more mass you have, the more space is curved. And there doesn't appear to be a limit as to how much you can curve space. If you're in a region where there's an enormous amount of mass, huge black holes, space is curved to an amazing extent. So, that's kind of the pictorial of what space is like. Space is not just this empty void where everything travels in straight lines. It's clear that light does not do that because light follows the curvature of space which causes it to change direction because of the presence of mass. And again, that's an indication of the general theory of relativity. The way you have it drawn, it almost seems like it curves away from the sun. Gravity would make it so that it should curve towards the sun. So you're correct that it, it depends how you look at it. You might get to feel that it curves away from the sun, but that's not the case. What I'm trying to depict here is that if light, if we want to follow the light from this star to this star, instead of following the light that travels, that starts from this star in a direct line path to here, you would miss the star because the curvature of space would cause the light to go this way. So for the light to actually reach that star, it has to start at an angle a bit larger than that so that the curvature space will cause the light to actually reach the star like that. So it's the path that the light beam must travel for it to reach the other star. And so instead of this imaginary triangle where the angles add up to 180 degrees, the real triangle is such that the, line, the, the angles add up to more than 180 degrees. So it's not that it bends away from it, you just simply follow the light beams that travel in that direction because eventually curvature space will cause them to hit the other star. This is a little deceiving. You think so? Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> it curves towards the sun, now it's curving away from the sun. No, no, it's curving towards the sun. See, yeah. this is not curvature. This is simply the path of light that then curves along the curvature space caused by the sun. 
have to use your imagination a little bit. 